this right here, baby, you wear this, you're gonna get some looks. People are gonna be like, who is that girl? Who, who does she think she is? And did, and will, and do, and is, and, and is, okay? This is that look. Hey baddies, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, which a lot of you are, cause this is a new channel, hey. My name is Ashley and I'm actually the writer for eatingbougie.com. Um, what is eating bougie? Just in a nutshell, if you guys have not been here before, um, basically it is the bad babe lifestyle. Um, I'm a entrepreneur and I'm extremely enthusiastic about fashion, travel, and just life experiences. So the purpose of this YouTube is to share that from time to time. If this is something that you're interested in seeing, I would love for you to subscribe, come back, check me out. Make sure you turn on your notifications um, so you can get updates on when I'm making a new post. So today's topic is going to be in the fashion bag. We are going to go over the camouflage jacket aka the camel jacket so um i was actually asked by one of my followers to do a quick video about how i would style a camel jacket and it was like <laughs> you know like that's like that's my thing like i love camouflage print i love mixing prints hopefully this will give you guys some ideas some inspiration that's what this is all about you know let me be your vessel let me be your vessel anyway um we're gonna go ahead and get into this so today i'm actually gonna take this jacket and i'm gonna flip it five ways so i'm gonna show you guys five different ways if you have the jacket if you're thinking about getting a jacket, if you never thought about it and now you're thinking about it after this, it's a staple piece. Um, it is one of those pieces that when you find it, you can literally keep it forever. Um, you can recycle, you can wear it all kinds of ways, you can dress it down, you can dress it up, you can wear it to the Grammys if you do it the right way. You know, but that's a whole nother topic. So today I'm actually gonna take my jacket, which I already had again, I do this. This is what I do. Okay. So <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. So I actually um, got the inspiration and pulled my jacket out, put a couple pieces that I already have together, and I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through the style. So first, let me show you the jacket. So this jacket has been with me for literally almost 10 years and i'm not even making this up um at one point in time when i used to sell clothes i would come across these all the time and sell them on um, the page that i was selling from um this is one that i had it fit perfect it's almost like finding a needle in a haystack to find it in a thrift store that looks right that fits right that is right so just a quick rundown this is an official U.S. Air Force jacket. Um, it actually still has the patches. I know some of y'all army brats, military brats, y'all feel some kind of way. Okay, it's just, it's what it is. It's fashion. I'm sorry. I love it. And yeah. So just to do a quick turn around, it kind of fits. If y'all can see, it sits just kind of below the butt. So it does fit loose, but it is like perfect to my size. When it comes to a camel jacket being in your wardrobe, here are two main reasons why you even need this. Cause you're like, why do I even need a camel jacket? Well, you need it. If you into style, this is like one of those pieces. For one, it is timeless. Um, again, I had my jacket for over 10 years now, or almost close to 10 years. I ain't gonna cap and say it's been over. Um, it's been a very long time since I've had it. And it is just a simple, timeless piece. Um, it's come with me in my wardrobe for years, and it'll probably be around. Okay. Um, so the second reason is that it is extremely versatile. Um, if you never quote me saying anything, 
hear me when I say that camouflage is a neutral print. And you're like, ha, that's a neutral print. Yes, camouflage can be mixed with any other print. If you like being on the wild side, you can mix it with giraffe print if you want to. You could do snake skin, you can do different colors. Um, it is just such a fun piece that can go with any other pattern and you wouldn't be looked at sideways like, what is she doing? What is he doing? So just keep that in mind. Those are the two reasons why, in my opinion, um, every girl or guy should have a camouflage jacket in their wardrobe. So let's go ahead and get into the looks. All right, so up first, we're gonna call this the Urban Rocker. So what I simply did was take a garter t-shirt that I found from Urban Outfitters, um, some disco pants from American Apparel. Those two are a staple, but that's a different topic, a different day. And we mixed those with um, some platform, the Jaden Urban Lord, not J who I can't talk. We did the platform combat boots, which are the Jaden Dr. Martin boots. Um, I've actually had these boots for about two to three years. I don't wear them that often because of the climate that I'm in, but I absolutely love these boots. Once they're broken in, they're extremely comfortable. Um, they give you a sexy street style, um, and it is totally appropriate for the fall. So simple. I paired these pants with a tank top and threw my jacket on. I just left it open and I matched it up with a mini Gucci purse. Um, I do understand everybody like, I ain't gonna go buy no Gucci purse, but I'm gonna actually leave a couple of links in the description um, for a lookalike bag, you know, if you're on a budget friendly. But if you have this particular purse, you can do any mini bag. And this is just a cute, everyday look if you're going out to some bars for tonight i know um the bars that we go to when i'm home in detroit this is totally an outfit that can be worn to go listen to some music in the cold and have a nice time so there we have it look one the urban rocker look number two we have the mixed prints so remember when i made the statement about camouflage being a neutral this is exactly what i meant here so instead of even wearing a shirt period i eliminated the shirt if you're daring you could wear it a little bit more buttoned down show a little tete you know what i'm saying um but you're just gonna wear your jacket just like a shirt and what i did was actually took an old vintage belt that i had laying around i put it around the waist to kind of give it a cinched look um and then i paired this with leather shorts um, ladies, gentlemen, if you don't have some leather shorts in your closet, you're gonna have to get some. This too is a staple piece that can be flipped around. Me, I'm the type of shopper, I spend money on my purses and my shoes and sneakers, but I will buy staple pieces and literally wear them over and over again. I think I have a pair of jeans. It's to the point I'm even like, okay, I'm kind of dog walking these jeans. They being worn a lot. <laughs> But no, um, the leather shorts, we went ahead and paired that with the jacket. And what I did for a mixed print, I had these thigh high snake skin boots. I simply put those on. This look is so sexy, so fun. And again, me personally, I will wear it out to the club. You could wear this on a date with Bay. You know, it's just a super cute outfit. So yeah, the mixed print. Now this next look, this is actually one that is a little bit more edgy and this is for that for real fashionista chick. Um, if I was going to New York or LA and it was cold, this is what I would probably wear. I ain't gonna even lie. So what I did was actually paired a um, denim button down dress and no shorts, none of that, you know, show a little thigh. And I did an extremely thigh high, um, wet looking leather boot. Um, I actually got these boots from Steve Madden a couple of months back, probably like a year ago. Um, these are the Vava boots from Steve Madden. Who child, listen, you wear this, what you're gonna do is take that shirt and button it all the way up to the neck, okay? You throw that jacket over that thing, okay and what i did i just took a matching brown uh brandon blackwood bag and this right here baby you wear this 
you're gonna get some looks. People are gonna be like, who is that girl? Who, who does she think she is? And did, and will, and do, and is, and, and is, okay? This is that look. So, you know, the fun, again, with the camel jacket, you can do fun things like this. And again, just have fun. So this is definitely more of an edgier, fun look. Again, if I was in New York or LA walking down the street, this is what I'm gonna wear, period, okay? God damn it, period. Next up, this is actually something that I would just wear every day. So we're gonna call this the everyday style. Basically, I took one of my favorite little t-shirts I got from the Kendrick Lamar show a couple of months ago. It's like really big because, okay, Pause. Let me tell y'all the story. So this shirt, I actually had bought the official merchandise from the Kendrick Lamar show. Um, and <laughs> when we left the concert, it was somebody out there selling shirts. So me and my cousin was like, hey, let us get two for 30. So $15, I walked away with another shirt. He only had like a large, but I just took it because I love Kendrick and I wanted to get as many shirts and memories from those shows so play so i know y'all over me and all this talking but anyway um so for everyday style i literally take some really good leggings i got these from joa brown they are extremely high quality i wear them all the time they look so good on your body i love joa brown for that reason i took that with some simple chucks and the shirt I love accessorizing with red. Um, so this shirt just so happens to have red. I threw the little red uh, Philip Lim bag on with my jacket. This is a cute everyday look. Um, I'll wear this to go to pick the baby up from school. I'll wear this to the grocery store. I will wear this here and there. I will wear this everywhere. You know, super simple, extremely easy for you to create. Now granted, if you don't have you know concert memorabilia just simply get a large oversized t-shirt of your choice throw it on with some leggings and some sneakers preferably some chucks and go last but certainly not least we have what i'm going to call the incognito okay so we just took a ribbed midi style um dress i got this from h&m probably for like 22 dollars or so um i threw my jacket on and I wore some oversized designer sneakers. Now the incognito part comes in because we threw on a baseball cap and we threw on some shades. And just to bring out a pop of color, exactly what I was telling you guys earlier about the camo and how you can um, you know, do those colors, I have this super cute neon clutch bag that I got from Love Courtney. This is a black owned um, handmade bag. I have a couple of bags from her. I absolutely love her design. So high quality. Um, it takes a while for them to be shipped, but I promise you, baby, baddie, it is worth the wait. That pretty much wraps everything up. So we did it, y'all. Time to fall. We took one jacket, styled it five different ways. I guess my question is, which one is your favorite? Which one can you actually see yourself doing um, in any setting and why? So drop me some comments below. If you like the content of this video and what I'm talking about, simply give your girl a like. Until next time, baddies.